So you just got your PSAT scores and not sure what any of it means? Hopefully, the next couple of minutes will help you figure this out and what you can do moving forward. First, let's review why you took the PSAT. The PSAT is a practice version of the SAT. The SAT has two major purposes. The first purpose, which is the most familiar to many of you, is using the SAT score as part of the college admission process. The second purpose is probably new to you. Beginning with the class of 2017, all juniors will take a free administration of the SAT in school, which will count toward the meeting of the district performance standards needed to graduate. You can also use this score to send to post-secondary schools as part of the above-mentioned college admission process. This year, the junior class will be taking the SATs on April 5th. Let's talk about what the PSAT scores you just received mean. The College Board, who created the PSAT and SAT, recently revised the test to make it a stronger reflection of what you are doing in school and aligning it with the new Common Core standards. The PSAT and SAT score are now on the same scale. This means that your PSAT score tells you how you would have scored on the SAT on that day. Regardless of your score on the PSAT, Paul High School believes strongly in the idea of continuous improvement. Through hard work, perseverance, and the right mindset, I believe all students can show improvement in any endeavor, including your performance on the SAT. The first step is knowing where to begin. I would encourage everyone to check out the College Board Khan Academy official SAT practice site. This free site will allow you to get additional practice anytime, anywhere, at no cost. And later, we will show you how to upload your PSAT scores into the site to get customized feedback practice, and tutorials based on your results. This way, you can maximize your practice on the areas that you need most. If all of this seems overwhelming, don't worry. The counseling department will be there every step of the way to guide you through this process. Starting in January, there will be formal opportunities to meet with counselors to discuss your results and help create a plan.